Hello Rat Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to the Art Survival Evolved news video. Yes, I know I usually reserve these for my survival shows nowadays because unless anything really interests me in Ark, I'm not covering it as much as I used to. That said, I'm interested in the Lost Island map. It's something that I think I will enjoy a bit more traditional and very much opposite of Genesis 2, which I absolutely hated. So, Big news though, a brand new creature has been revealed that's going to be coming alongside the Dinopithecus. This won the community vote, this is a great picture of it, but guess what? We've got another new dinosaur. The Sinomacrops was also part of that community vote, I do believe, some suggestions, and it looks like it's going to be coming to the Lost Island as well. I'm so pleased to see another weird little creature coming to Ark, and it's not just some sort of T-Rex ripoff or a damn monkey. On top of that, we're also going to go over the building momentum that's been going on in terms of a TLC. Don't get your hopes up for any meaningful changes hitting the current version of the game, but maybe in the future for Ark 2, building will be a lot more pleasant and a lot more what people really want out of the game. So leave a like, make sure you subscribe for the best in survival games content, let's go. So we knew this had won the race, it was a, almost a clear winner, although it wasn't that much, I think it only won by a couple of percent. And this is one of the three creatures that is coming. We already know about the other one. It's the long neck creature. The armor Armageddon. So this is the second creature that's going to be coming. And this was the community one. But the Sinomacrops Bondi is a friendly, curious little pterosaur. It may approach and investigate unfamiliar creatures, but Cinemacrops does spook easily when threatened. It will unfurl its wings to reveal diametic eye spots in an attempt to confuse or scare predators away. Still, Cinemacrops seems to be a highly intelligent creature that craves social interaction. So pretty much it's like butterfly wings. While it's normally curious and friendly, Cinemacrops' adorably oversized mouth turns into a deadly weapon at the sight, sight and smell of insects. Even alone, this little creature can take down insects far larger than itself. Unfortunately, this means that armor made from chitinous plates is going to trigger attack response from the otherwise sweet-hearted pterosaur. God damn it, man, they're making some of these dinosaurs really dual layered, really double edged swords. It's going to help you maybe get some insects. It'll help you glide around the map, but it's pretty much going to rip you open if you are wearing shit and armor. Taming the cinema crops is fairly straightforward. Just feed them without scaring them. Once tamed, they absolutely love traveling with the humans and prefer to cling to them whenever possible. Not only are they sociable, but they are fiercely protective. Once bonded, any small creature approaching someone with a tamed cinema crops will be met with its flashing eye spots and piercing shriek. That's usually enough to stun an undersized interloper. So that'd be good. Maybe like a little warning against creatures like obviously raptors. For such a small flyer, cinema crops can carry surprisingly heavy loads. It can even support the weight of a fully grown adult human, although it will struggle to gain altitude. Still, any creature companion that could double as a glider and parachute is invaluable for anyone traversing the arc as long as they bring plenty of snacks for their new friend. I've got to say, yes, well done Ark, for once, I'll give you props, I'll give you a bit of crap lately over the Ark Stadia that got released this week and still no update for Switch. But this is the kind of stuff I can get behind, new free creatures for everyone to enjoy and it is looking good. It's a variation as well, something different from what we've already seen, so yeah, I'm totally down for this. And with the Amagosaurus, that completes the three creatures that are going to be available as part of the Lost Island map. There's still no news when it's going to release. They have said it's going to be here before the end of the year. I'm still going with maybe an October, November release date. But yeah, it's looking good. I'm definitely excited about the new ones that's been revealed. I am kind of warming to the Dinopithecus as well. And yeah, this guy, yeah, bigger creatures. Hopefully it won't be as derpy as the Bronto. On top of that, we've got more sponsored mods being revealed today as well, and you will also be able to apply for the next round up until October the 5th. We've got a brand new spooky little map. I won't play the whole trailer because I don't want to use any copyrights or go against anyone else's uh, ideas and stuff. But since it is a modded official map, I think we can take a little peek. Um, probably not the best trailer. It's not really revealing too much about the map itself. I'm guessing it's got a fairly decent write-up. Oh, it does sound good. No technology whatsoever. That sounds really good. You'll find new structures and mechanics for crafting, exploration, taming, and harvesting. And if that's not enough for you, there are many dungeons hiding underground. Alemia waits. You know what? I might have to go and check that out. That sounds exactly like my kind of arc. Here's a map picture of Alemia Project as well. Wow, that is that is like a big basin there. That is pretty... Yeah, I'm feeling this, you know. I could maybe get down for this. I'll have to give this a try. 
that one time that I might actually ever come back to Ark. And then we've got Ark Genomes. It's going to be a complete overall with challenges, a tiered improvement system for creatures and its own story flow. Take on difficult challenges to fight the corruption of elements, gain new rewards and raise your team through multiple stages of genetic evolution. Ah, uh, yeah, it's another one that just makes your dinosaurs really super colourful. Like, don't get me wrong, I know Ark Paradiso and all the others uh, are just really good. Lots of people like this kind of stuff. I ain't gonna lie, I don't mind some of it, but it all just becomes one thing after another. Yeah, it does a big roar that does a load of damage. That said, some of these little pools and stuff look okay. But yeah, maybe a little bit too psychedelic for me. And there we go, another evolution event is on Tuesday 7th. Taming, breeding, harvesting, XP and hexagon bonuses. And as usual, lots of clips and stuff going on from the community. So seemingly after some tweets by some creators, Sed has actually taken on board the kind of movement to get Ark building improved. It hasn't really had a proper TLC for a while now. Ever since they added the no clip update where it allowed you to clip and blend stuff together more, it hasn't really had a lot of love. Oh, okay, maybe the homestead update. Yes, it did add more triangles and stuff like that to it. It's a fair play, but that was like nearly two years ago now. Sephiro Ultima tagged me in his video where he's talking about TLC and pretty much he has started a conversation at least and then said the community manager put his tweet out just a little while later taking notice of the fact that so many people are wading in with what they want to improve in ARC in the building. Building is a huge part of Art Survival Evolved, whether it's videos, content, base building just on players, it's a crucial part and for so long Wildcard have ignored everyone's request to have another tile set. Now this is something I've known for a while that they won't ever do it because it will just simply cost too much memory, basically the older gen consoles are holding it back. Even if it seems like it's just a reskin, which I've always thought before I found out that it would be fairly easy to do, apparently it costs way too much on memory. And because the older Xboxes and Playstations just can't support it, they'd have to come up with some really cost saving ways to have that. In a game where you can have thousands of dinosaurs on a server already, and hundreds of bases too, they just can't simply offer any more tile sets for it. As I put here, it's a shame they never did it, but when they can't even get a PS5 upgrade done, 10 months after announcing it, I can't see it happening. So if you've got any thoughts about the building, whether it's from a PvP perspective or from just decorations, go and leave a comment on said Twitter post. Loads of the greatest builders in ARC I have weighed in as well, so hopefully fingers crossed this will inform something that's going to go along for the next game. I've already seen a few replies from Wildcard and Dolly stating that they're not necessarily going to take on board all this feedback for ARC as it is but certainly it will help towards ARC 2, which of course only Xbox and PC players are going to play. So there we go, that is the ARC news. As said, when I come across interesting stuff, I will cover ARC, otherwise you'll always see something about whatever's been going on in my regular survival shows every single week. Until next time, Ratbags, laters!